today's the big day, John. This is it. You are officially one of the coolest people on earth. You are a ghost hunter Greg, now, Rock. Um, no, I know this is a big thing, but try to keep yourself under control. No, you're standing on my CDs. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Thanks. Um, so today, we're actually investigating a haunted parking garage, and for once, it wasn't reported by one of the people in this van. Who did you say we uh, told us about this place again? Uh, a very credible witness. We borrowed John's van to go to Goodwill to get some awesome clothes. And then we went to the bar. Well, and then we, we, were, we went to Goodwill to see if they were selling any haunted objects. And, and that's also why we went to the bar. But weren't you getting clothes for that meetup with single ghost hunters? <sighs> Those ladies weren't ready for real ghost hunters. Can we edit this out? But then when I got back to the van, I saw a full body <gasps> torso apparition out of the corner of my eye. It smelled <gasps> in the sun with ghostly energy. I thought it was one of those gay vampires, but it smelled awful. But then when I looked at it, it vanished completely. I've seen people go into that lot and never come out. Couldn't they have just gone out a different exit? We are about to enter the parking structure of Eva. Okay, John, we gotta back out. Come on. But why? I mean, there's plenty of parking spots right there. Rook! I don't want the ghost to attack our car. But guys, the closest place to park is like six blocks away. Well, this is great. Now we gotta drag all this stuff six blocks. We, Rook. I do not know where he gets off thinking that he's the boss of us. Well, he was the boss of us for like six months in Senior Agua. I started watching those ghost hunting shows. And it turns out they're actually investigating locations scientifically as opposed to just, say, shouting at the air or threatening to beat up ghosts most of the time. Uh, I started making a list of all the things that they have that we don't have yet in order to make us a better ghost hunting show. Uh, so far I've got EVP, money, hot chicks, a base, and most importantly, money. Oh, wait a second. We totally already have a base. I am so damn good at this. Uh, anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm missing a couple things, so I'm going to carry this little notebook around and just make notes whenever something comes up. Well, I'm pretty sure that uh, no other ghost show has a guy that doesn't believe in ghosts. That's a really good point, Mike. I'm going I'm to write that down. New professional cameraman. Wait, what? John, we really appreciate your enthusiasm. But this is only your second official investigation. You have a lot to learn. A lot to learn. Okay, well, how do you usually start one of these? Watch and learn. Ghost, reveal yourself to me or suffer the consequences. Well, that's scientific. Mike, are you getting the smell? Not on camera. What do I think will happen today? Well, I think we'll spend a lovely Saturday afternoon in a gym sock, and if we're lucky, we'll find a dead body. Yay. Sulfurous smells are often associated with Satan. And uh, sometimes sulfur. Oh god, if that's the case, then we're definitely on to something. Hey, over 300 people die every single year of spectral smells. You will show some respect. Yeah. Well then, shouldn't we be wearing masks or something? Can, are you giving can me just, food? Why would I give you two? Oh, you're doing this rookie crap. The ghosts are laughing at us. Well, I don't think the ghosts are laughing at you, but I certainly am. You are so lucky I stopped shoving people. Replacement? For Greg. Ghost, if you come out now, nothing bad will happen to you. We mean you no harm. Ghost, if you come out now, he is going to beat the ever-living shit out of you. Seriously. Yes, I am. Greg, you're on record as wanting to get all up in the ghost grill. What's the story with that? Oh, uh, I think it's about uh, getting back at death. It's for all those people that died and maybe didn't want to. It's about looking into the eyes of a small child that died tragically in a car accident and saying, fuck you, we're alive. Now get the hell out of here, you ghost bum. John, you can't keep undermining me in front of the ghost. It makes us look unprofessional. What makes you think there's a ghost here to begin with? Because I know what I saw. What do you mean what you saw? I meant what the witness saw. The witness. And what is the witness's name? One of the things that people are always surprised to learn about me is that I've had five years of extensive improv training. 
John Garage. I don't always come through under pressure. Place to hide Greg's body. I'm going home. Call me when we have a paying customer. Wait, where are my keys? Uh, you gave them to Emmett when we left the car. Well, and where's Emmett? Well, he's... Where is he? Uh, smells are often associated with hauntings. Spirit! Uh, don't take this the wrong way, but why do you smell so funky? Does personal hygiene just go out the window in the afterlife? Emma did say that people mysteriously disappear in this parking garage. Ah, he's too strong a ghost hunter. He's not in any danger. Greg, it's a parking garage. What trouble could he really get into? Yeah, I realized that was a stupid question the minute I asked it. This place is like a freaky hedge maze. I was just on level C and now it's five. What the hell is five? He's not in there. Whose car is this? Oh, I don't know. How did you get in there? Wasn't easy. Let's go. I can't believe we lost Emmett to the ghost smell. That's impossible. Yes, but not in the way you're thinking. Anyway, the, 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 the odor's stronger from this way, so I'm gonna go check that out. I've never said that before. Emmett, I'm gonna hunt your ghost, and when I find it... Right in the nose, old friend. Right in the nose. Hey! I found me! Oh my god, you're a little... Oh my god! I mean, oh my god, I have to hug you to make sure that it's really you. Gay. Mm. Oh, what about that's not gay? You can't go wandering off by yourself. What if I wasn't there to protect you? Between the two of you guys, I couldn't get a word in word-wise, so I went and investigated on my own. Look, guys, I, this smell is giving me nostril cancer. Can we go home yet? Or I can just go home, too. That's fine. It, it's the ghost smell in human form. Dude, it's a homeless guy. No. It, yes. Stop. Oh, crap. Well. In my defense, what was... Well, I... Come on, spit it out, Hawaiian Newsy. What happened to him? Oh, there were these kids playing baseball, and baseball just came out of nowhere, hit him in the eye. Mmm, because it looks like a punch. Yeah, those kids, they, uh, punched him with a baseball. Very, very mean kids, you know. Don't raise them like they used to. Sir, I am sorry, eternally sorry, for any uh, misunderstanding. And if there's anything I can do to make it up to you, please don't hesitate to let me know. Uh, stupid. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, I couldn't make that up, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? Oh! Oh! Hey, oh. you okay, man? Oh, I probably had that coming. Probably. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Walk it up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That went pretty well. I mean, we really came together in the end. Is that what you call what just happened there? So, like, when are we gonna go back? Wait, go back where? Well, there's still a ghost in that garage. Guys, the bum was the ghost. The whole time. No, John. The bum was alive. I have the uh, wounds to prove it. So, are you still a rookie? Or are you a ghost hunter now? Can I bring beer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. Who knew there was such a thing as gothic hobos? Gobos. Thank you, Disco Joker. And good night. <laughs>